Hi, I'm Sarah from Adventures with Sarah. And as a tour guide for the past, oh, ooh, 23 years, I have learned a thing or two about what you need to have in your bag. I have always had to carry an emergency kit, partially for liability insurance, but also just because you never know when something happens if you can come to the rescue for somebody. Over time, I have developed something that I call the Box of Awesome. And you may have seen some writing on my blog, or you may have also seen um, a video about this. And I thought today, because I'm refilling my Box of Awesome, that I would go ahead and I would show you what I'm gonna put inside. And a couple of variations if you'd like to carry a few more things than just the basic set that I have here. So come along with me and let's have a look at what I'm gonna put into my new version of the Box of Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by having a look at what is in my current Box of Awesome. First of all, this box was assembled using this very simple Johnson & Johnson first aid kit. I bought this at Target, it was about $1.95 maybe. You can also get them at Walmart. Uh, and when you open it up, you have really basic stuff inside. You've got band-aids, you've got hand cleaning wipes, you've got gauze, uh, and then I think there's some band-aids usually in there. Uh, I started to pack this one, not much in it yet, but I put a hairpin, I put an emery board, and then some cough drops and some uh, Pepto-Bismol. So just as a little bit of a start, very basic uh, box of awesome. Then, if we go to the one that I have been using for years, this is the same box as you can see, uh, but this is the real box of awesome. It is very, very low on things right now. So that's why I'm doing this video to kind of show you uh, as I repack it. Number one, we've got blister treatment. So this is a, not a Band-Aid, but it's a blister cushion. So it's sort of like a cushiony little bit there that you put on your heels. So that's kind of like moleskin also. This is nice to be able to just share with people on my tours if they need that. Uh, I don't know why this is in here, but hey, why not? It is uh, a little bit of stevia. I don't know, that's ended up in there somehow. Uh, this is really cool, and I have used this in the past. This is called Tenacious Tape. It is super duper duper strong tape. It's not, it's not even really duct tape. It's more, more than duct tape. And it's just a clear plastic tape. And I have obviously cut off a little corner for something I needed to patch, but you can actually patch up your backpack. You can patch up your shoes. So I bought a bigger piece of this and then just cut this little strip to put into the Box of Awesome. Uh, then I have a little packet uh, that I got at a sample at, I think, Macy's of uh, some skincare or some sunscreen. Uh, and then I have this, which I will put in the next packet. I got this from my dentist, and this is a, like a adhesive for if a crown falls out. And you wouldn't believe how often we have medical and dental emergencies <laughs> while traveling. Uh, this has been used before. So I just simply went to my dentist and said, hey, can I have a few more packets of this? So ask at your dentist, if somebody's crown falls out, you just mix part A and part B together, stick it on the bottom, and then you can pop their tooth right back into their mouth. I know, I mean, I'm a tour guide. We have done all kinds of things, so you have to be prepared for everything. Uh, we have a little sewing kit, which has buttons. I think I just stole this from a hotel. It's got a tiny bit of thread, needle, safety pin, buttons. If you see one of these in a hotel, be sure to grab it because you can uh, build your own box of awesome with it. Then I've got hydrocortisone cream, which came in another set I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. But um, this, if you can find it in a packet form like this, is really nice in case people have uh, allergic reactions. I don't like carrying a whole tube because I don't always use it, but having a little bit just to give to my guests, that's really helpful. Uh, I have a tampon because women, you know, sometimes we need these things. And so this is an emergency tampon just for anybody who might need it. Uh, and then we have, well, this is from Cambodia. I bought some Valium. Obviously haven't used it, but hey, you never know. Uh, and then we have acetaminophen, just a little packet again that I can give out. Uh, I, I like these packets as a tour guide because I can give them out, they're sterile. I can hand them out to my guests. You don't need that if you're just traveling with you and your family, but that's something you could consider. Uh, and then we have a little bit of moleskin, which is a really soft felt with a sticky back and that can go on blisters and it's really nice and comfy to fix blisters. Uh, and then normally I have a ton of band-aids and things, but I am obviously down to my last band-aid and I always try to get stupid band-aids like Snoopy or Star Wars or ones with stupid quotes on them just because if somebody's gonna hurt themselves, I would much rather that they hurt themselves and then have a good laugh about it. Uh, so then uh, other things in this box, we've got small binder clips 
These can be very, very useful in all kinds of situations, not just for, for putting uh, papers together, but also clothes. Uh, you can also use these to clip the blinds together. Um, like in, in Iceland, we had a really big problem with waking up in the middle of the night because there's no, no dark. <laughs> so using these, you can clip them together. You should always have a giant safety pin. That's really good for fixing backpacks and fixing other things. Uh, and then we have floss, which these flosses are really good, not just for teeth, but also they have a little picker in case you need like a little pointy edge to, you know, as a tool. And then glue dots, which I have because you can stick things like if you need to stick something into your passport or you needed to stick something on, you know, some papers together or you wanted to stick a ticket into a book or something. They're just little tiny glue dots. So you just peel off the back and it's a little, uh, little spot and you just go doop and you can stick things together. And then I have this, um, this tube that I put random pills in. Uh, these pills are just the things I find are really important. Uh, so in this one, this is my basic sort of pharmacy that I carry with me. Uh, so I have an extra shank Tylenol. I've got, um, it's not Tylenol PM, it's like Advil, but it's just the diphenhydramine piece that makes you sleep. So it's like a sleep aid. Uh, I carry this around, which is, uh, what's it called, Uristat, because unfortunately, as a woman, that is a problem, having urinary tract infections, so I keep those on hand because you, when you need them, you really need them. I might have kept these in my bag for years, but when I need them, I'm really glad I have them. Benadryl, which is a multiply handy drug because uh, I carry these as a safety precaution for my guests because if you have guests that have allergies and they don't realize they're eating something they're allergic to, this has literally saved a life. I have saved probably six or seven lives in my tour guiding history of people who ate something that they were allergic to accidentally. You pop a Benadryl in their mouth and they're good to go. Well, at least to get to a doctor. Uh, and then Pepto-Bismol. Now, one of my very first tours I ever did, I got off the airplane and I was not feeling well. And uh, there was a doctor on my tour who said, oh, do you have this kind of Pepto-Bismol? Not the kind you chew, but this kind, the tablet kind. And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, take one of those because something about this, he told me, would be a way to kind of kill whatever bacteria you got in your gut from eating something bad. So I always carry these and they are kind of a magic silver bullet in general. Uh, for for travel. So these are just the drugs I always take with me. Uh, your combination may be different. This is also another way to carry that Uristat. You can get this in just the little tiny pill forms. Um, so that's what I do. And then the little pill case, uh, you can probably order something like this on Amazon, um, but you can also just kind of futz your own if you want, but this is how I keep all of them, just a little clip there. So now I'm gonna show you um, a, a new box that I got because you can see these are pretty tight. When I was at Target not so long ago, I found this box, which I don't actually love this box as much as I do the white box. The white box, what I love is it clips shut and it stays shut. Like I've been using these boxes. This one is probably five or six years old minimum, maybe even older. Uh, this one was in my car for a while. So yeah, they just clip, they're simple, they clip, they stay shut. This one, I bought one of these boxes before and I didn't really care for it because the top pops off and it can pop off really easily. The nice thing, however, is the size. I mean, look how much bigger that is so we can fit more stuff in here. So I'm gonna leave that up to you, what you choose to do. These are more. This is gonna be about 10 bucks just for the base set, but uh, this particular one is called the Human Repair Kit. It comes with bandages, it comes with antibiotic ointment, hydrocortisone cream, and hand sanitizers. So it's nice if you just wanna get your kind of basic set put together. But again, I, like I said, I don't like the open and close on this. So we have our starter set, right? We've got all of these band-aids in different fun colors. And then we've got all of our creams. We've got antibiotic ointment, so that's important. I've learned actually recently that's very important. Be sure to have that. Hydrocortisone cream for rashes and bug bites. And then we've got instant hand sanitizer in case you need that for taking care of wounds. So this is a nice basic first aid kit. We can take all the guts out of this and we can refill it with these other things. So that's kind of up to you how you would like to do it. So I wanted to show you some other things that I've purchased recently that you might consider putting into your box of awesome. So let's dump out all of the pills. Let's just say we filled up our pill tube. 
I'm gonna fill my uh, pocket next with a few different sizes of Band-Aids. I wouldn't go with all one size, but I do like the flexible fabric ones. They tend to last longer on people instead of the plastic ones. So a few of these, if you have that variety box of Band-Aids, go ahead and put in a few different shapes. Like these are just the basic ones, but I like the butterfly ones. I like having just all different ones because you never know what people are gonna do. Uh, then I'm gonna put in, let's see, I think I like the antibiotic ointment for sure, at least one. And remember, this is, I'm just doing the strip down kit. If you wanna bring a, a more robust kit, you can do that. Then I'm gonna put in the hydrocortisone. Then I'm gonna put in the hand sanitizer. Then I'm gonna put in the, uh, the tooth stuff, so for the, uh, putting for putting back the crowns. So that is my basic uh, first aid situation. I mean, I know it's not the best, but it's something. It's better than nothing, and it's so tiny and lightweight, you can always have it with you. Then I'm going to go ahead and drop an acetaminophen in here, just in case anybody needs that. And then I'm going to start adding some of the other things. We've got our uh, sunscreen, our little tiny sunscreen. I'm going to put the blister thing back in there, because that's just nice and flat and little. Okay. And then the tenacious tape, which can fix a lot of things. The tampon, because I think that's always smart to have. You can make a really good friend in the, in the ladies' bathroom at some point. Uh, and then we've got our safety pins, our sewing kit. Okay, so there's our really basic box of awesome. We're gonna put this in here, little clips. And we're, again, we're just imagining this is full of whatever it is you wanna bring. So what else? What else can go in this kit? Because look, we've still got a lot of room. Well, there's lots of good choices of other things that I have found, and this is gonna be kind of up to you. So, uh, first of all, I think it's really great to have some floss. Now, you don't need to bring the entire thing, so you can either do the little toothpick like this, which I think is nice and compact, or you can take some of this and like wind it around your finger a little bit like this and cut it off and just take a length and put a length in here. So in case you need it for floss or in case you actually might need it uh, to tie something together, floss is really handy. Also to cut cheese. So that can have multiple um, uses. You can just tie it into a, a little bundle if you wanna do that. Uh, and then some other little things just from my cupboard. Another clip like the binder clip. This one came off of some coffee, you could do that. Uh, twist ties. I love twist ties. They are so useful for so many reasons. So we're going to pop a twist tie in there. And then this is a really smart little tool. Mine's a little bent up, but this is a SIM card remover. So if you plan to use a, a phone with a different SIM card, you use this to poke the side of your phone and the SIM card pops out. Now the iPhone 14 Pro and better don't need this, but if you have an older phone, you might need this if you wanna get a local SIM. So that's a nice thing to add. Uh, I always like hair clips. Again, you can make friends in a bathroom somewhere, but also maybe you might need that. You never know if you're doing a cooking class or something. And then because I do wear glasses, uh, I have a little screwdriver for fixing glasses, but this one is extremely beat up. So I went out and I bought a new one. And I'm not sure I'm gonna love this one because it is a little bit bulkier, but I am old and my eyes are going bad. So having the little uh, magnifying glass on the end is good. So this is from Target and this is all it is. It's the screwdriver and it's all the little screws to fix your glasses. And then if you want, there's the little uh, magnifying glass. I'm gonna skip the magnifying glass and just put the screwdriver in here. So now I can fix people's glasses as well. Uh, and then we have um, the emery boards. These are so useful for so many different things, not just nails. So I'm gonna break off at least one of these little minis. This is, a, I think again, a Target item that I found. So I just put at least one of these little puppies in there. And now we've still got some room. What else are we gonna do? I have a few different ideas. Uh, I have found packets of, uh, this is an Italian brand and you can get these in Italy. They are bug bite wipes. So if you're allergic to bugs, that would be good. The other thing you can do is get little packets of bee sting relief. That might be helpful. So that's one option. Um, another option is putting a little bit of soap, woolite, or Tide in. Those are liquid, but actually I'm a really big fan of the sheets of, um, of laundry detergent. So I'm probably just gonna put a little square of the laundry detergent in here, but for now, we'll set these aside as just some options for you. Uh, oh, here's one of the must-haves. I forgot about this. This is a must-have, and I have another must-have for you. This is a tiny little baby crazy glue. Look how cute these are. 
So you just take them, you can pop them in there. I always run out of these because people take them from me because they need them. So you can you know, glue together your shoes or whatever. These are wonderful. The reason though, however, that the uh, little screwdriver for the glasses is, is dead, my old one, is because one of the uh, packets kind of exploded. <laughs> and I have super glue on it. So anyway, that's a really good idea. Uh, those are available on Amazon. Uh, they're kind of hard to find, and I also saw them at my local Ace Hardware, so that's something you can look at, and I'll try to put up a blog with all the links for these things. Uh, shortly after posting this video, it might be a day or two later, but we'll get all of those up for you. And then, of course, since I am a tour guide and I want to take care of my guests, I need to have tweezers. And I just wanted the little ones. I didn't want the big ones out of this. I want the little tiny ones because those, look at that, those can get anything out. They can get all, like little tiny splinters out. And that's what we want these for is to get splinters out. So let's see how we're doing. Oh, look at that. We're doing great. We have plenty of room for more stuff. What other stuff do we want to put in here? Um, I think rubber band. It can also be very useful in here. Uh, I also am going to put this extra little piece of moleskin in here that I already have, but this comes in a bigger package like this that you can get from Target. You can also just get this from Amazon. Uh, more safety pins, because you can always use more safety pins. I'm going to put a few of these in, by the way. These are, they're called, we call them centipedes. I don't know if they are, they are centipedes, but you can get these in um, some pharmacies. It's a, a Thai cough drop that is so good if you get any kind of hacking or any kind of throat issue on the plane. I love keeping these handy because they get rid of coughs really fast. I don't know what's in them. So, you know, buyer beware, but these are really great if you can find them. They're just little tiny balls. So I'll put some of those into the kit. Uh, and then this one here is the one I am gonna put in the kit for me as a tour guide. This I, I don't have because I've used it before. It's called Temperin. And what that is, is a paste that you mix up in this little pot, and then you can put it in people's mouths to fill their fillings. So if you have, uh, I've had guests before that have lost fillings, and that's really common, unfortunately, in travel, that people have incidents like that. And yeah, we can go to an expensive dentist. If we can open this up. We can go to an expensive dentist or the other thing we can do is we can just fix our teeth ourselves. So Temperin, again, is just a thing that you can get. That's very well packaged. Uh, you can get it through Amazon. I think I bought this one through Amazon. And it's just this little tiny pot. And we'll figure out a way to get this with, with a little stick. Actually, I'm not even going to bother with a little stick because if I really need it, I'll find something to apply it with. But we can just pop that in. Let's see if that works. Oh, almost. Oh yeah, it does. It's a little high. Maybe if we set it on its side, we can fit it. There we go. So this is gonna be, it's like Tetris, right? Seeing what you can fit in here. All right, so I've got that in there, which is really helpful. And what else do I wanna put in? I could choose from one of these things here. Uh, I can, I actually think I'm gonna put in a couple of these little post-it notes and just stick those on the top because you never know when a post-it note could come in handy. Like if you need to, have a post-it note to put on the um, the door of somebody you're traveling with to say, "Hey, meet me later." If you don't, if you can't get a hold of them, uh, so that's nice. And a push pin, because again, you never know when that could come in handy. You could open up your phone with that. You can do, I don't know. You could probably rob a bank with that. I'm not sure, but I think that this is a useful thing. And then just a regular pin, just a pin like you would see anywhere. This one is all yucky and beat up because. I uh, burnt it with a lighter because somebody had a really deep thorn and I had to go in and get it. And I, I don't know if that's something you should do, but anyway, I'll put a clean one in there. So say straight pin, straight pin, that can also be something you can use to fix your clothes. And then you could also add in a couple of these. These are really fun little hand wash sheets. Look how tiny and, and thin these are. So you could probably put together a little uh, plastic bag and just add a couple of these in here and we'll just put them on top. You know, I'm imagining I've put these into a little bag and now you have a little bit of hand soap as well. So a couple of other ideas from you guys that I've gotten, uh, the contact lens case. This could fit in here if we made it a priority, but this is something a lot of people have suggested that you can use to put either Vaseline in, 
you could put deodorant in there, uh, the cream deodorants especially. You can put sunscreen in there. You can put your uh, face cream. So it's a way to, to not take liquids in a big, big container. And if you don't wear contacts, you may not know that these little contact um, saving pods actually have just the right capacity for something like sunscreen. So if we open it up, look at that. That's actually quite a lot. That's probably enough for sunscreen for a tour. Like if you're gone for a week or two, that's probably enough. And it's probably enough for a really, really good quality uh, face cream or Vaseline as well. So just a nice way to economize on space. So that's my version of the Box of Awesome. I'm sure you guys out there probably have ideas, but I'm gonna see if I can if I can close this. There we go. And then you can decorate it the way you want. I've decorated it with my own stickers that say Adventures with Sarah. And yeah, you can keep this in your purse, in your bag, in your car, and you can make a different version for each place. But this box is a really good starter. It's probably my favorite. You, and as I said, you can think about getting larger boxes to make more spacious ones, if you wish. So thanks for joining me when I while I assembled my box of awesome. And uh, this is actually packed now for me. I am actually gonna go put this into my bag. I'm headed off to Italy and to Ireland next. And this is gonna be my guide toolkit, my first aid kit in case anybody in my group needs something or if I need something, a lot of these things I end up using for myself. So please, in the comments on this video, either on Facebook or on YouTube, go ahead and tell me what you think I miss because I'm sure I missed something and I will put those comments together into a new blog post and give you guys the details on where to find all of the ingredients to make your own box of awesome. All right, everybody, be awesome to each other and have awesome travels with your box of awesome. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to come up with all kinds of cool travel videos and travel tips for you guys from my 23, 24 years of tour guiding. I think I had to learn it the hard way. You shouldn't have to. So we'll see you again soon. Ciao, ciao.